about one hour ago, I, I listened to this famous public speaker. His name is Alex Sheen. And he started this movement that was about maintaining promises to society. I think his organization is called like, Because I Said So, the, book, the Because I Said So Foundation or something like that. But the reason that his message is so important today is because we don't realize that every time we don't follow through on a promise, we ruin our own reputation. We ruin our future opportunities for a job offer, for another opportunity. Maybe it's even like a romantic relationship, something like that. This just goes out throughout your whole life, throughout all your all your areas of life. Maintain, maintaining your promises and not breaking them and following through on promises is such an important aspect in like maintaining relationships, trust. Like for example, let me give you an example, okay? Let's say uh, I, I tell my teacher, I'm gonna get my assignment done by 5 p.m. on this day at this time. And I don't turn it in. Now she comes on, she logs in, she comes to grade my assignment, she sees I didn't submit anything. I, I wasted her time because I didn't follow through on the assignment, okay? Now it's little things like that that are just gonna characterize you as the guy who doesn't do things. You have to follow through on what you say you will do. Never say something that you know you won't do. That's why you have to like actually think before you speak. It's it's crazy like people don't people don't do this. Like they they just say things that oh, okay I'll do it I'll do it myself included. Like I say I'll do this I'll do that, but then I I find myself I don't really follow through on everything I say. So what is the solution? Think before you speak. Will I actually do this? If you're not gonna do something like let's say uh, the boss asks you. Your teacher asks you to run some errands or something. I don't know. I don't know why they would do this, but let's say your boss asks you to take out the laundry and you don't have time for that. And you say you do. You say you will have time to take out the laundry and then you end up not taking out the laundry, okay? How do you avoid that situation? The way you avoid it is by respectfully declining. Like there was this phrase that Alex Sheen in his speech he just used and it was called like a, it was, it went, I respect you too much not to do this because I know I won't do it. It, it. It's such a respectful way of declining something. It's such a respectful way of not making a promise that you won't keep, okay? Because when you make these promises that you can't keep, you're just you're just ruining your own reputation. You're, you're making yourself, like, you're characterizing yourself as the guy who doesn't do the thing, as the guy who shows up late, as a guy who doesn't do what he says he'll do, no one's gonna trust you with anything. They're gonna give you a low position in whatever job you do. You won't have power because you don't do anything. Just do what you say you will do and you'll be set. I honestly think it would be better to actually say less and just do less than actually saying you'll do a lot of things and then you don't do a lot of things. Like, for example, let's say I had five goals for the year of 2025 within the business of whatever I'm working for. And then I only accomplish one of those goals. Now let's say that that doesn't seem too significant because I had five goals, I only accomplished one. But let's say I have two goals in 2024 and I accomplished both of those goals for my company. Now I've been, now the whole world sees me as successful. I've completed my mission of two goals. You give yourself less to accomplish you will accomplish it and you'll do it better. You have more energy to focus on it. And people will actually think that you are proficient in what you are doing. If you say, okay, I'll do all five of these goals. I'll do that, I'll do that, I'll do that, I'll do that. You're only gonna make progress in like maybe one or two of them. So you might as well say, okay, I'll only focus on one or two of these goals. And then that'll enhance your reputation. Whereas if you just say, I'll do all of these things and you don't do them, that's gonna look bad on you. That's gonna look bad on you. It's gonna ruin your reputation. Reputation is pretty much everything. That's why That's why it's important that you like get a fresh start. If you have a bad reputation right now, just get a clean slate. You can't fix your reputation with people you already know. That takes like a lot of effort, like years of effort. So I'd say, yeah, this is all something we need to improve. I'm out, Forest Faisal. Think big.